The earthquakes in Turkey and Syria are occurring along similar fault lines that we see here and have here in the United States. So News 19's meteorologist Corey Smith explains how that type of devastating earthquake is different even compared to the ones that we have here in the Midlands. There have been more than 100 earthquakes in the past seven days in Turkey and Syria, with two being above a magnitude 7. The strongest, a magnitude 7.8, is almost 2 million times stronger than the 3.6 earthquake we saw on June 29th last year in the Midlands. Looking at the region, the Anatolian plate is moving against the Arabian plate. The East Anatolian plate, where the earthquakes have been occurring, is known as a strike-slip fault similar to the famous San Andreas Fault in California. In this situation, the two plates rub up against each other until the immense energy is released in a powerful earthquake. Here in the Midlands, we have been dealing with our own earthquakes, 85 of them since December 2021, with the latest occurring this year on January 20th. Unlike the strike slip fault in Turkey, our fault system is very old and not a boundary between plates, which means we don't have a lot of movement. While there is some stress being released during these quakes, the potential for a very large earthquake in this type of setup is much lower. This has been confirmed by the dozens of weaker earthquakes we have seen in this swarm. From the studio, I'm News 19 WLTX meteorologist Corey Smith. Well, any recovery efforts in Turkey have been slowed massively thanks in part to that winter weather they just told you about. Temperatures there have been below freezing and models do indicate the cold weather in that area is going to continue.